I uh, grew up on the water, uh, Great South Bay, uh, Bay Shore, uh, Long Island, New York, and um, I had a fascination uh, with uh, boats. Uh, of course, we were still using uh, wooden craft in the uh, mid-50s. My first boat was a 15-foot old town uh, cedar lap strike on oak frames. I was 10 years of age, and um, I maintained that vessel for five years, and we did some structural repairs when the boat was damaged, and uh, that interested me. And as a youngster, we would build uh, boathouses and little rafts that we could launch in the water. Well, I've been a part of probably... Uh, 12 or 13 uh, vessels at this point. Uh, we've been operating this program for uh, about 12 years, and we always have one or two boats ongoing at any one time. We're right now uh, restoring a circa 1928, 1930 SS sloop. It was designed in 1906 by Benjamin Halleck from Santa Mariches. It was donated to us and we are uh, now completing uh, the restoration. We replaced all of the ribs. We're replacing some of the planking. We are replacing the decking. We're replacing the stem. We're replacing the uh, transom uh, and some other structural pieces uh, in the vessel. Uh, we use a broad range of tools uh, we use everything from a bandsaw, a thickness planer. We use a lot of hand tools, uh, wooden planes, shavers, Japanese pull saws. The skills are fairly broad-based. I mean, the most important one, of course, is to be able to read a set of plans and then do offsets, and you use the offsets to define the dimensions of the pieces that you're working on, whether it's a plank or a, a stem or a rib. A restoration project uh, generally involves uh, many surprises. You have to understand what the builder was thinking of and why he fashioned pieces in certain ways. Uh, even if you have a set of drawings or uh, plans, uh, frequently a builder will utilize different approaches which are not depicted in the plans or the drawings. So it's a lot of fun, it's detective work, but it's slow going.